Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm gonna put our serious face on. You know, I can only be so serious. And we're gonna talk about all true. Let's get into it. This is a lifestyle box. I'm gonna start right now by saying I'm not gonna put the links below. I am not promoting this box. I'm showing it because they are still sending out the products from the vendors who didn't get paid. I don't know where my line will be if they will just become more reliable and perhaps I will go back to showing them for that, maybe even put a link below. But for right now, I still could not in any good conscience suggest that someone subscribe to this box. I know some of you have started saying, you know, what do you think? Do you think you would try it on a seasonal basis or would you go annual? Hands down, I without equivocation would say I would never suggest to a friend now that they go annual. I would not give them a year's worth of money. They're not they're not buying new product yet. They're very they're buying very little new product yet, if any. And if you wanted to go season to season, at least if everything went wrong, you would only you lose a season's worth of money. But still, that's like, I think $65 now. Honestly, I don't even know. I don't go over to the website. I don't look up any of the information on it because I'm not giving it to you guys to link it, to help you subscribe. I, at this point, would probably still not subscribe. I received the box and actually this spring, it just renewed for another year because back when they were good, I did just like anybody could do. Every time I talked about it, I used my link. And you know, when somebody signs up for any box using your link, generally you get five or $10. There, back when it was good, there was so much of that going on that I worked up enough of a credit that I've probably got a couple of years worth of subscription credits. That's the only reason I'm still receiving it. I would not purchase this box. If tomorrow my credits ran out, this is not a box I would purchase. Until A, we start seeing new products, which means they're actually laying out money, not just clearing out warehouses that could on a moment's notice be empty and they could just pack up and go home. So until they are invested for starters and B, <laughs> B, until they get their ship right. I customized this box more than two months ago and until shipping is reasonable again, I, that when it was the only problem that they had, which they had that problem long before they went bankrupt, we all kind of overlooked. But now that I see it as just another symptom of the bigger problem, until that is right, I also wouldn't suggest it. Okay, that said, let's see what I chose and let's talk about the vendors. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. We have our booklet with all of our paperwork. It's shiny like a magazine this time. That is new. And then those are my products. This is another one of those, and this happens to me, having nothing to do with All True. This is another one of those situations where I ordered so long ago. I don't even know what I ordered. Welcome to spring. <laughs> Welcome to spring. I have had this four days. I guess technically it is still spring. When they wrote the book, they said it may still be snowing in California, but it's distinctly springtime here at Allure. You know what? I can't even, I can't even go on reading because I can't do it <laughs> without that snarky tone you just heard in my voice. This is the only box I get that doesn't give me happy heart. It just, it just doesn't. I just, I really, I got into doing YouTube, not because I wanted to be a creator or an influencer, which I know sounds weird. I just got boxes and I wanted somebody to talk about it with. So I think of you guys as my friends and I know that so many of you lost money on this deal. And I feel bad for the vendors that, it's like, you know when somebody picks on one of your friends and you're like, okay, I know I'm still, I know you're still calling me, but I still don't like you. <laughs> relationship. Okay, we're going to go through the customizations. I will show you the options on here that you could have chosen and I will tell you what I chose. So choice one, you could have chosen the cotton crinkle throw. Mm -hmm. I chose that when it was available a year or so ago. You could have chosen the smart travel tumbler. I don't have that. It's from Teamy, but I feel like we've seen it before. You could have chosen the small flex bins. I think that's, we're going to see what I have. There was a backpack that is the convertible backpack from Laud the Label. And then the Keep It Fresh storage set, that's from Small Hours. We're not talking about that is an in-house brand for them. Simbla is in-house, Small Hours is in-house. I don't know about Laud the label. That is the convertible backpack, so we'll show that. And I will link all of the vendors that are true vendors, not just an in-house brand, I will link below. 
and then the Tees Tumbler. What I chose, let's find it. Oh, they're big. Oh, they feel weird. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I got the Sort Joy The Flex Bin, and the paperwork says set of two, made from recycled plastic. These versatile felt bins, they do feel absolutely like felt, were designed by a professional organizer and an interior designer to bring a dose of joy to tidying up. Fold them down to fit on a low shelf or leave them tall. They're flexible. Members will receive either the stone or carbon colorway. I think we chose this and I think I chose the stone. I thought I might even use them up here just as a place to gather some of my cosmetics. $44 value. There are two and it says they're 14 by seven by 9.5. Let me look up the brand really quickly. I have Mr. iPad and see if we think it's a real brand. We absolutely do. So it's S-O-R-T-J-O-I. I will link it below if this is something you have any interest in. Their website actually looks pretty interesting. Okay, we'll open these up because we wanna see what they look like. Oh, wow, what they look like open. They absolutely, the whole thing is felted. At the bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There's a tag that says Sort Joy, and that's what it looks like. It looks, it's just absolutely not transferring well on screen but it really does, there's something about it that looks kind of posh. I like that it's not just a regular basket. So, okay, I am happy to have these. Can you see? I'll go like that so you can see like relative to my finger. This is pretty thick. So, okay, I'll take the other one, poke it right in this one. See, it's already working. <laughs> Choice number two, you could have chosen an apron from Simbla in-house brand. Electric salt and pepper set from Phantom Chef. I chose that because I have gotten a couple of their pots and pans and really enjoyed them. So always a salt and pepper shaker are good. I'll have them here. We'll take them out in a second. You could have chosen, and this was difficult for me. I almost went there. You could have chosen more of the little bins and it's the same people, Sort Joy, and it's a set of three, but they're smaller. So I was really, I started to do just a full on bin box, but I didn't think that would be very exciting for you guys. And you could have chosen the chopping block, which is also simple. So as you can see, and not that we don't see it in other boxes, we absolutely do, but there are a lot of in-house brands. I personally have never seen these Phantom Chef salt and pepper shakers before. So I don't know if Phantom Chef is trusting them again, or if these were perhaps in the market and I just never noticed them. I'm not sure which it is. If they are <laughs> very modern looking. They are blue salt and pepper shakers. They are branded Phantom Chef down here. They are the ones that take batteries. So you put the batteries in them. They have the push button top and the grinding bottom and you can do salt and pepper. I will absolutely use these. I have one, actually, the pepper one that I have is just, it's a gravity one. And when you turn it upside down, you don't even have to push a button. It starts automatically. But I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> And since dropping it, it has become slightly less reliable, I can figure. So I could absolutely use new ones. And I am not so lazy as to not be able to push the button. And choice number three, you could have chosen one of the Stojo cups. I'm sure they have those around. We all got those back when they went around the first time. Set of two kitchen towels by Kalara. Uh, marble Geo Coasters. I actually have a set of those from before. The Rejuvenating Night Serum from No Beauty. A lily pad catch-all tray from... Taliana, you guys know I love catch-all trays, so I gave that good consideration. And an on-the-go cutlery set from Small Hours, I have that also an in-house brand. I chose because along with bowls, and I didn't know until very recently I had a problem with these kitchen towels. We use so many kitchen towels that I don't know if you guys remember when I got that Norley basket several many months back, probably at least six months back. And it's a big open basket with two handles. It's gorgeous. I have set it at the end of my dining room table and tucked up underneath. It just looks really pretty sitting there. We go <laughs> through so many, because I'm trying not to use paper towels. We go through so many kitchen towels and my Norley cloths, Norwex cloths, that in that basket, as we use them each day, we throw them in there, and when that basket gets full, I do a load of just kitchen towels. I like that it's not mingling with other clothes. I like that I can use the powder on it because with my Norwex stuff, you have to use the special powder. I guess I chose green. It's a very springy, that's probably prettier, springy, summery color, so I absolutely believe I chose this for summer. I love having new towels, so when company comes over, I can have one of the new ones. I almost always save one to set out 
for fresh when company comes. 100% organic cotton, set of two kitchen towels, 20 by 30 inches, made in India. And I don't know if you can tell, that green is like a lime green. It is really gorgeous. They say the... <laughs> Sorry, I'll try that again. <clears throat> They say they have a $68 value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you would totally do that, right? If you came across this in Home Goods, two kitchen towels, you'd be like, oh, $68, I'll be people, I'll be. You can't beat the size, softness, and absorbency. They are very soft. Of the set of Crafted by Kalara, made in India, 100% organic cotton. We love the loop hang feature and the yarn dyed stripe. Members will receive either sky or grass. So I think I chose the grass. If my choice was this or blue, I probably would have chosen this, so it makes sense. Very pretty, not unhappy. Wow, do I have a kitchen theme going. Choice number four, a small hours in-house brand, little stainless steel food container, I have it. The Eco Silicone Seal Bags from Small Hours, in-house brand, I have them. The Celestial Mix and Match Rings, and Every is the brand. I will look that up in a second, $68 value. The Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, you, this works is a real brand and I love their products, but I actually have a couple of those because I went through a phase where I bought all of them that I saw. Love that brand though. And then the Bala, also a real brand, Sweat Sliders with a $20 value. I've seen those here before. What did I, ch I chose? I apparently chose the rings. I probably figured if it wasn't something that I would wear because the sizing or the fact that it's costume, I'd pass them along to one of my girls. I cannot bring myself to choose the Small Hours products because I know it is an all true brand. The set is Celestial. There are three of them. They look a tiny, much smaller than my hands. I wear a size eight, but you can see there's a moon and I don't, I guess the one in the middle is just an accent piece. And then that one's meant to look like a star, I suspect. Is that easier? I'm not sure. Let's do that. Let's do it with the dark too. I put my hand up there and I've noticed recently the darker of the background Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> I could wear it as a pinky ring. I could wear that one little one as a pinky ring. It is kind of pretty. I will see if one, it fits one of my girls. This also has a $68 value. Minimal and modern. These size inclusive adjustable rings. Yes, but once you pull a costume ring, you really risk the outer coating breaking. They are responsibly produced by a female run manufacturing collective in Vietnam using recycled materials sourced in the USA. Okay. Let's see if that brand is real. And by real, I just mean not an in-house brand because we're seeing a whole lot of that in this box. I don't know. <laughs> I, I wish I did because I would like to be able to say to you guys, yes, for sure. But it doesn't, it's a very, yeah, it's a very limited website. And that is a lot of what we see with the in-house brands. So I, I don't want to slam the brand and be like, yes, as an in-house brand, because so, it very well may not be. But their our story doesn't really talk about any people, that kind of thing. So my instinct is to say it probably is. I know you guys, some of you out there are real sleuths. I don't know how you find it out, but you get out there and you do the trademark stuff. So let us know if there are any of you out there. Is the and every brand part of the all true brand? which I wish I could remember to tell you what their real name is now. Choice five, you could have chosen the Maji Sports Stretch and Exercise brand Bands. I have them from a prior box. The Nomad Palette from Sandbar Beauty. I also have that from a prior box. The Glow Tonic from Pixie. Follow with me here. I also have that from another box. Or the On The Go Straw. I chose, on purpose, the Sandbar Nomad Palette for a giveaway. I just thought I, I have all of those things. And I thought this one, I mean, I'm just making sure it's not broken yet. It's a pretty palette. It's a very pretty palette and I do enjoy the brand, but I have it. So I will close it right back up and tuck it away for a giveaway. And the last choice, you could have chosen the Province Apothecary Vegan Facial Dry Brush, the Barefoot Scientist Step On It Aloe Infused Socks. I have them from a previous box. The Reusable Facial Rounds, the Green Co. And I have them from my previous box. The Detox Facial Steam, I have from a previous box, but it's from Clay, Clay Beauty, and I like that. It's been so long that I actually thought I could get it again if I wanted it, but I decided to go a different way. And then the Calm Kit from Cuccio Somatology, I've had it. 
So I had had like 90% of this box. I chose the Green Company's Reusable Cotton Rounds. I'm not even gonna open it because it is nice and sealed. And I'm going to tuck that away for the giveaway also. There was nothing else in here that spoke to me again as a repeat. I have these, I do enjoy them, but I have, I have collected so many rounds now and I love using them, especially for toner and things like that. So I thought I would pass these along. Okay, that is my all true box for spring 2023. Let's see if there's anything else of import in the book. Just for the record, this is what the, since I didn't take them out, the refu reusable, not refusable, reusable facial rounds look like. You get the little mesh bag and the rounds. Okay. Thank you so much for coming by. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them, but they will all end the same way. No, I do not recommend this box. I, everything, it's all a repeat. They're clearing their shelves. I suspect when that is done, so are they. That is my very pessimistic view of this situation. And what you need to know about me is I am not a pessimist. I want to give everyone you guys watch my other videos you know i want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt i can't i can't i can't if you have interest in other boxes that i get i can happily recommend them even fabfitfun now is doing so many if you did the research you could find brands that are female founded or have an eco-friendly that just so many companies are doing that now. It's something everyone is trying to be aware of. And of course, of course, they also work with brands that don't do that. But if you wanted to curate yourself a box mostly of that, I think you probably could. Okay. I don't recommend it. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to come over and see this, especially since I'm a grumpy ghost when I open it. And I hope I will see you again really soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more happier videos to talk about. And I'll see you really soon. Talk to you later. Bye guys.